so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the of a friend and patriot, a friend of this army, who's traveled with us through the jerseys, Tom Payne. In his pamphlet, The Crisis, which your officers have read to you, he wrote, these are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis, shrink from the service of their country. But he that stands it now, deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. You, my brave soldiers, deserve that love and thanks. We have endured much this past several months. Shortages of food, clothing, and shelter have plagued us. Heaven knows I've petitioned Congress for these things many times and received nothing. We're lucky to have citizens of Philadelphia coming up with donations of blankets and provisions. Yeah, you're right, so are before you, right? Two of them. I see many tired and weary faces, and we've lost so many to sickness. We've shared the cold, the snow, and the rain. And I pledge to you that I and your officers will not desert you. I only ask you stay with me now to finish our business. We've lost battles, but the war is yet to be won. I commend you all for an orderly retreat through New Jersey that saved this army and inflicted over 3,000 British casualties. 
this army will not wither and die. I have recently met with my council of war and we have decided we are crossing again back into the Jerseys and attacking the Hessian outpost in Trenton. We have kept this secret from now for fear of discovery by our enemies, but you now know where we are going today. The sign and counter sign for this crossing will be victory or death. No man is to cross through our lines without the correct sign or counter sign under penalty of imprisonment. You will see to it that our lines are secure. We'll be attacking from two directions and we'll be doing this as quickly as possible. I know Providence is with us in this endeavor and I'm determined to be successful. I trust you will all act like proper soldiers and stay by your officers. For God's sake, stay by your officers. And thank you for staying with this army.
these are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis, shrink from the service of their country. But he that stands it now deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered. Yet we have this consolation with us, that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. A thousand years hence, perhaps less, America may be what Europe now is. The innocence of her character that won the hearts of all nations in her favour may sound like a romance, and her inimitable virtue as if it had never been. When we contemplate the fall of empires and the extinction of the nations of the ancient world, we see but little more to excite our regret than the mouldering ruins of pompous palaces, magnificent monuments, lofty pyramids, and walls and towers of the most costly workmanship. But when the empire of America shall fall, the subject for contemplative sorrow will be infinitely greater. It will not then be said, here stood a temple of vast antiquity, but here... Our painful thought, the noblest work of human wisdom, the grandest scene of human glory, the fair cause of freedom rose and fell.